LSU is sweeping Kentucky. And here we go on a Tuesday morning with ball one from Sidney Burzon to the freshman Caden Henry. Two homers, four steals, and a walk over the weekend. Little dribbler here. That ball deadens right in front of third, and Henry easily beats it out. Sidney Scott is up there. Scott with the ground ball right back to Burzon. There's one. Pleasance with the hammer down to first. It's not in time. On a 2-2, that ground ball down to Gutierrez at first. And this time, the Tigers turn two. That ball slapped to shortstop. A tough play here and not in time from Vivi Martinez at short. It's a leadoff base hit for Sierra Briggs. Lead the Tigers. That ball drilled down the line and left and caught by a sliding Bella Dayton. A a lot of pitchers are scared to go inside to these left-handed hitters all throughout LSU's lineup, but I'd want to often. And she did it again. Yeah. Up and in, drilled her. Pleasance is hit by a pitch for the fifth time this season. Taking that job. That ball smacked up the middle and thrilled for Gutierrez. A base hit to score one. Bobbled in center by Henry. Pleasance will hold at third. Raylene Gutierrez in the second. And LSU strikes first. She looks to hit early in the count. And LSU got to be able to take the lead and score first against the phenomenal freshman plays out as she continues on. She and outside a, there and got the corner for strike three to get Rudity looking. And she has a nasty changeup. That's up and away. Here today. Bases loaded and Carly Penny is drilled. A bases loaded hit by pitch. It's 2-0. And Lynch with a chance to explode this game open. Splits the gap in left center field to do just that. Two runs are in. Petty chugging to the plate and ends standing. Tiger Park is alive on a Tuesday morning. Thanks to a bases clearing double from the transfer Kelly Lynch. Kelly Lynch aggressive early in the count. You can tell Kavan wants to throw righties and lefties inside. Gets her barrel to that inside pitch. And she's hitting ninth. Daniel slaps one to Martinez. It's short. And Texas has two losses this season. The opposing team scored first. LSU scored first and fifth. What an inning. The new poll just came out. LSU jumped ahead of Texas in our new ESPN.com poll just behind Oklahoma. Texas three. By the way, which I think is worth mentioning. On the ground is short from Maurice Atwood. Sidney Burzon after facing the minimum in the first. Starts the second with another out. It's been a minute for Bet Serena's group. Another ground ball to short. Pleasance on the backhand. A laser to first is in time to get Jolie Mitchell. Player in the game. And Pleasance will not be able to get to this one. Just out of her reach on a little looping single from Washington with two outs and two strikes. Ground ball to second base. Petty with a glove flip to Pleasance. Defenders are looking at her feet, and they're looking at her hands. There's the bunt, and there's an out at first base. Perfect placement of that bunt. And Ruling on the field that the runner was out at first. LSU is challenging the call on the field. After further review, the ruling on the field has been overturned. The runner is safe at first base. Good win to cheer. What to say? <laughs> that ball skips away from Stewart. Briggs will take second. 3-2, and a ground ball down to first. It skips away from Mitchell. Takes a bad hop in the right field, and Briggs is going to slide in and score. A rocket down the line. It's a base hit for Allie Newland that ate up Jolie Mitchell, and LSU's put up a half dozen by the second. That's a hard hit ball, too, by Allie Newland about when they want to use that. Off the end of the bat to short from Gutierrez. Martinez gets one, and Washington, two. So a little Texas two-step on the infield. The most historically great conference of any. Up the middle, that ball will sneak through. There's a base hit for Aston Maloney to lead off the third inning for Texas. Four or five years. Yes. Right side, base hit, Bella Dayton. And this is what Texas can do. Maloney and Dayton in the bottom two spots in the lineup reach base. 
Left side, Caden Henry slices her swing down for a base hit the other way. Three straight singles, and the Longhorns load them up. That's a chopper from Scott. That is a fair ball, and that is big trouble for LSU. It will bring in two. Maloney and Dayton speeding in on a two-run chop from Mia Scott to make this a 6-2 to two game with still nobody out. Yeah, look at all these singles. Using the ground, Mia Scott just hits that drop ball hard into the ground, creates this hop over Sierra Daniel, who is pulled in, of course, because the bases are loaded. Another solid freshman class. Stewart, a bouncing ball to short, and a rare boot by Pleasance. That is a blue moon sighting here at Baton Rouge. And here's Reese out with a tying run. And Atwood strokes one into left field. Right at the left fielder, Newland, who makes the catch, comes up firing to the plate. It's not in time. A really good jump there for Caden Henry. A great catch by Newland to save another run, but Texas gets a sack fly from Atwood, one of the fastest runners in the nation. It's 6-3, and that ball drills the runner. Well, what else weird could happen in this game? And it's the third inning. Jolie Mitchell just absolutely torpedoed one. And a ground ball to short, and that is the way that's supposed to go. In the air left side from Rudity. Cleaned up by Bella Dayton. Along with the great Lynn Rollins, local legends. Down to third, that's a hot shot picked up by Scott. Well played by Mia Scott. Played Texas in the Big 12 tournament. Played Texas 2-2 for Lynch. Right back to check. First scoreless inning twirled by a Texas pitcher today. Estelle Check does it. Three in the country. There's a base hit right back through the box for Martinez. And the leadoff runner on for the third time today for Texas. In the left field, this is easy for Allie Newland. Feels like they have a real shot at going far. That girl probably has hit quite a few home runs this year. And she goes down swinging there. Frank out today. Mia Scott left side off the glove of Pleasance and sitting in left field. Another run across for Texas. Martinez is in and Dayton to third on a ball that the six-foot Pleasance could not reel in. It's six to four. Down at the corners with one out. And a ground ball to third. The play is made at first, and that will be that as of March the 12th. Sierra Daniels slugs one into right field. Well struck by Daniel and off the glove of the right fielder, Maloney. Daniel racing to third base, and she will stop right there. A leadoff triple out of the nine spot for Daniel. And now we see a fly ball to left. That should be enough for Briggs. Dayton will wind up to the plate. It's not nearly in time. Sierra Briggs. Elevating when the moment calls for it. Her sacrifice fly makes it 7-4. to four. One scoring single to right. And a fly ball hit to left center. Henry in front of the warning track. A little scuffle Sunday was the shot by Camila Cardozo at the buzzer to beat Tennessee in the semis on Saturday. First three of her career as Taylor Pleasance slaps a base hit into right. Seventh pitch to her here, 3-2. And a ground ball to the right side, eaten up by Washington. He's going to go. And she chases strike three here in the dirt. Bajron completes the play at first, and Sidney Burzon has her second strikeout. And one for two today. Mitchell with a bouncing ball to short, and Pleasance makes the play cleanly. He on the chest of Alyssa Washington, who puts one in the air to right field, and Rudity has the third out. First perfect inning of the game for Burzon. And she strikes out the first batter she faces here. Mackenzie Rudity down swinging. It's a bouncing ball over the third baseman, Scott Martinez, from deep in the hole and short will make the play brilliantly. That's why Texas's defense is just so tough to figure out. A few too many errors, mistakes. 
Another play it short for Martinez. Easy pickets here in a 1-2-3 inning for Matt Morgan. First 1-2-3 inning for each team in the fifth. 2-2. Two -two. That is called strike three right around the outside corner to Martinez. A sophomore for LSU. She won't get to this one. It's chopped down to third, and Sierra Daniel makes a play from third base to get Ashton Maloney. The 100th pitch of the game is lying right to her. Welcome to the hot corner, Sierra Daniel. Ground ball from McKee to Washington. Mac Morgan with three ground outs, her specialty, and a strikeout in relief. Sierra Daniel with a bouncing ball to Martinez. Two down. She said this team is just yet. That ball smoked on a hop to Washington. Three more ground outs for Morgan. The first LSU freshman All-American pitcher in eight years. And in her sophomore year, she's two outs away from taking down the number three team. Henry retired on a ground ball to Carly Petty. And Scott goes down swinging. Katie Stewart. On the ground is short, in the hole Pleasance from the outfield grass, it is in time! A breathtaking play by Taylor Pleasance, ending a breathtaking morning into afternoon of softball for a breathtaking group of Tigers. LSU is 23-0 after a 7-4 win in this top three showdown.